Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on KDE plots, kernel density estimation plots. KDEs are used to find out the probability density function of a given data set. I won't go into the details of that, but you can read more about it on Wikipedia. We'll start by importing the libraries and modules that we need. I copied this from our previous lecture. Import pandas, numpy, seaborn, and matplotlib spy plot, and a special function matplotlib inline allows our plots to appear on Jupyter Notebook. What we'll do for this lecture is use one of NumPy's method known as the multivariate normal method, and that method will allow us to come up with a data set that's appropriate for KDE plots. Okay, let's start by defining two variables that we'll need for that method. And we'll save it in variables known as mean and covariance. And let's set the mean to be zero, zero. And for covariance, we'll pass a list of two values. Let's say 0 0.2 and zero. And for our second element, we can use, let's say zero and three. We can adjust this once we see the KDE plots. Now we can use the method that I mentioned. So np that random that multivariate underscore normal and then we'll pass the mean and covariance and let's pass a size of maybe 40. We can adjust that later and then we'll call the transpose method on it. So you don't have to know what this method does, but it's just the easiest way to create some data set for our KDE plots. And we'll save this in two variables. Let's call it x-axis and y-axis. Okay. Now that we have that, we can proceed to our KDE plot. So we'll use Seaborn's SNS, we'll call the KDE plot. Seaborn has a method known as KDE plot. So we call that and then we'll pass, let's see the kernel density estimate of one of our variables, X axis. So let's pass X axis and then run it. So this is the KDE plot, kernel density estimation plot for our x-axis, which is one of our variables, okay? We have two variables, we call them x-axis and y-axis. So this is a KDE plot for one of our variables. Similarly, we can call the KDE plot and then pass our second variable, y-axis, and that's the KD, KDE plot for our y-axis. Okay, We can also shade this part under the graph by passing an attribute known as shade. Let's do that. So we can say sns.kde plot, then pass x-axis, and our attribute shade and then set it to true we can do that and if you run it now we have a blue shade underneath you can also change the color of the shade by passing the color attribute or parameter so it says we can say color is equal to let's see green maybe and now you ha we have a green shade you can pass whatever color you want that's for our x-axis. We can do the same for our y-axis, sns.kde plot. And then we'll pass our y-axis variable. And then we'll set the shade to be true. And then color is equal to, let's say purple. And we have a purple shade. Okay, now let's see a kde plot of both of the variables. So KD, SNS that KDE plot, 
and then we simply pass the two variables x axis and y axis this is called a kde plot for two variables or bivariate kde bivariate means two variables okay let's run it so that's a kde plot for two variables we have contour lines right similar to what we did for our single variables here or univariates we can also pass the shade parameter and shade this contours so let's do that sns.kde plot and then we pass our bivariates x-axis and y-axis and then we can set the shade to be equal to true run it now our shade has now our contour lines have shades and if we want to change the color of this shades for our contour lines we can pass the color map attribute and we can also change the number of this contour lines we can have more contour lines if you want by passing another attribute known as number of levels or n levels let's do that so sns that kde plot we have our x-axis and y-axis variables we can pass one is the color map c map let's pass a color map of maybe rdbu let's see so rdbu you know red blue color or you can use some other color maps if i remember correctly we can use a color map known as husl or bluest we can use all those sorts of color maps okay let me copy this and see some other color maps rdbu there's one known as blues d and so on in the previous lecture we have seen husl so here it says color map husl is not recognized okay possible values are here you have a list of various color maps so you can try it out okay let's see cool warm i'll just show you cool warm cool warm and run it so that's what it looks like you can use any of those possible values okay the next thing we can do is change the number of contour lines by passing the number of levels attribute so here we have sns.kde plot we pass our x-axis y-axis and then we have our color map and the attribute is number of levels so n levels and we can set it to be whatever number we want for our contour lines let's say 18 let's try that out so we have if you count this it's 18 i'm not going to count it but 18 we can change this to let's see let's make it more contour lines let's say 35 maybe and let's change the color to cool warm and run it so right here it says 35 we have more contour lines so similar to the number of contour lines for our bivariate kde plots there's also another attribute known as bandwidth by passing that bandwidth attribute we can make the the single variate kde plot narrower or wider let's see an example of that so we have sns that kde plot and then we pass let's see y axis and then for our bandwidth it's bw stands for bandwidth and then let's set it to be equal to let's try 1.5 and run it so it looks like it's wider compared to the normal kde plot sns.kde plot and let's see the normal bivariate k 
KDE flat without passing the bandwidth attribute. You see that's the normal and this looks a bit wider and you can change the value of the bandwidth to different values. Let's pass instead of 1.5, let's pass 0 0.3 and see the difference. Now you have that. So you can play around and pass different values, let's say 0 0.1. You can pass different values. 